happening. Now, Jifa, how do you read this story as a journalist, as an editor, and ultimately as a citizen? I think one of the things we've never had is full disclosure and transparency on expenses when it relates to travel. You remember at the beginning of President Akufuado's uh, presidency, he did indicate that they were going to uh, put a, um, minimize non-essential travel. And that also related to not buying new cars and the like. The reality is that I don't think we've really been apprised of what goes into these international trips. Sometimes uh, there's criticism about using commercial flights and the number of trips that needs to be done. So I think this is a classic example of how maybe you're trying to avoid COVID infection and you're trying to travel um, without the risk of, of infection. And then you procure this opportunity to, to travel, but you're paying a steep price for it. So I guess we need more information about it. I'm not going to kind of pronounce on whether this was right or wrong. I would like to know what went into this decision. I've seen some criticism that uh, some 24 hours uh, this has been made public. There's been no response from the presidency. I think we need to note that once an urgent question has been filed and the defense minister is going to answer that, then it will not exactly be appropriate to hear from the presidency at this point because someone has to answer. If the defense minister answers and we are not satisfied, then I think we can up the ante and mm. ask the presidency to explain further. But I think in a time of COVID, in a time where there are many people who have lost their jobs, we don't have the full figure. The last time TUC said some 42,000 people had lost their jobs. I dare say the numbers are higher. Mm -hmm. And we don't mm -hmm. see a drive to actually get more people into work in spite of 1D1F and all that. The reality is times are hard for everyone. Mm. And the recent uh, tax increases have uh, demonstrated that with, which led to the Fix the Country uh, uh, protests and, and agitations. Mm. And so certainly mm. this is not good for the president's mm. image. In, a, in the 2019 Afrobarometer survey, there's a section of it which talks about who do you trust? Which institutions do you trust? And the president is number two on that list. Number one is the Ghana Armed Forces. And so by these actions or inactions, the president will be losing trust. And I hope that they do take steps to be transparent and open about why they took this very expensive and luxurious option instead of using the presidential jet. That said, before I wrap up, I just want to say that the issues relating to the presidential jet have been controversial for the last 20 years, and we need to find a way to bring it to an end. All right. We need to accept that if our, our leaders must travel, we must provide them the appropriate facility for travel so that they don't go and expend on luxurious travel such as this. Right.